Hello guys, my name is Sadelia and welcome back for yet another episode of Let's Play House of Final 3 Black Guys Mod as Finland. So in previous episode, the German uh, Panzer divisions down here uh, got the best of us and they've destroyed or shattered, I don't know, five or six divisions of ours down here south now. So we are getting our troops from the Baltic front to Germany now. I mean, in the north we are doing okay, we're not doing great, but we're not losing either. We can now take these divisions out. There we go. Let's rest them. Which means quite a few factories away from Germany. They're gonna get regain some of their strength down, down here in south. I'm gonna withdraw. Now I'm gonna have to see if I can... I'm gonna try to redeploy there. It might not work. But if it works we can cut them out and hopefully they will run out of supplies. But it's a risky plan, to say the least. Right, so let's get these two divisions back into Germany. And I'm gonna have to bring these ships to Prussia. Or East Prussia to be precise. How is this fight taking so damn long? Yeah, it's getting summer and they will... Their counter-attack will be rough, I believe. Okay, you know what? Stop here. Because they're gonna take that and we don't really have the strength with this Panzer Division to actually take them out. And these two divisions that we have here, well this one is... Well, they don't really have much. Send you down here. We're gonna have to try to get back to the French border down here in the middle. If we wish to be able to cut them out. Because we might be able to go through here as well. Unless they start attacking with that guy once again. Yeah, it's the, their air force is strong, way too strong compared to ours. We lost another battle. Oh god, so many losses. Okay, we lost that. Oh god, this is a disaster. So we have once again one more division over there. We are still ferrying over stuff. Just gonna transport them over there and uh, use redeployment from there. Okay, I'm gonna have to get back in here. But yeah, they managed to get some of their land back. Let's have a look at the victory points map mode though. They haven't regained any of the victory points yet, but that's only a matter of time to be honest. Unless I can manage to cut them out, I will be crushed in the west and I might actually lose this wall unless I... Well, I'm bringing more troops, that's for sure, but they might not be enough. Okay, yeah, that one is way too weak to do anything. So yeah, I'm gonna bring the two army corps that I'm bringing from Baltic area somewhere around here. And I'm gonna first of all try to stop their attack and then try to cut them out. That's the plan for this episode. And we're getting more fortresses along the Russian border. Also, not not too far, yeah, two months until we get the Panzerjager division. Once it's operational, it should be pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm gonna support attack over there, because this is taking way too long, this battle. Also, are we... we can 
actually ground attack here. Sneakly, maybe. Well, their fighters did catch us. Yeah, this is a bit hopeless, and they are attacking us once again. I'm gonna have to withdraw here. Now they are attacking us here, we might be able to defeat them, however. Especially if we use these guys as a distraction. What's happening here? They are attacking from over here. But that's not good. Yeah, div their divisions are strong. There's no denying that. I'm gonna start to redeploying these new units. Okay, these ones I'm gonna leave somewhere around here. You go to Königsberg. Oh my god. You know, who would I thought? War against Germany. Bloody. Well, at least there's some of these uh, zero strength divisions around still. I think I'll have to use this to cut any escape from these guys. Yeah, this fight has just been going on and on. I'm gonna take you out of the fight for now. Let the other guys take care of them. So how many... Okay, there's only one more division down there, but that's more than what is good. Yeah, this fight uh, in the south will be a decisive battle. If we can take care of these Panzer Divisions, uh, I'm pretty confident that I can win this war. But if I can't contain them, I will have to withdraw all my troops. And uh, which will probably mean a loss. Ah, this sounds... Uh, this looks delicious. I might be able to cut them out now. Right when we are getting reinforcements. And we can ferry these guys across as well. Also, how's the fight in here? You guys uh, go take out the airfield down there. Also, we got assault weapons level 5, which is over here. Now, yeah, that's good. Right, what else? Uh, oh, right, uh, construction, agriculture is still a bit ahead of time. So maybe not that one. Let's take our rocket tests, because we already have rocket test sites from Germany. We can probably get jet engine fighters at some point. The additional range will be very useful, especially when fighting in Soviet Union. If we are fighting in Soviet Union. I mean, we probably will, but I mean, if we lose this whole damn war, we might not. Okay, they've gotten over there, but we are taking out their supply routes right now. I'm gonna have to move these planes a bit further away. I combine these two. Well, finally, we got rid of that. We move in there. And these two are actually very low strength. So I'm gonna move in there and gonna take the airfield. If nothing else, then to at least uh, delay them. Also, they are attacking us pretty hard here. You can withdraw. 
You're going there, you will go there, and I want to send you over there. We need to get rid of these three divisions down here. And uh, as quickly as possible, to be honest. You need to withdraw. I don't know how they got that heart attack in there, but yeah, that was pretty rough. Okay, the front has uh, gone from uh, southwest to northeast to west to east. Okay. Okay, I've managed to cut them out now. Almost. There we go. They're getting over this way, but if we are clever. I mean, I could probably advance over this way now. Also, these guys need to get a little bit closer. I'm gonna redeploy you over here. And these... Other than that guy, I'm gonna send over here. Should be enough to make a difference. I mean, especially since most of these guys do have anti-tank guns. So they can actually do something. Yeah, it's already me, which reminds me, uh, in June I will lose the Lapland War effect, which is a bit uh, bad. You know what, they're not trying to help us, or help these guys right now, so I'm gonna try to take them out. And we can take them out, apparently. Truck tank factory. Take a lot of money and all that, but yeah, might as well. Car attack efficiency. Yeah, okay, so we got rid of these guys, which means that we can start advancing here a little bit more. And maybe make them withdraw some of the strength here back to east. I mean, we are getting closer to their capital. Well, their new capital. Ah, they lost a the fight in there. I mean, we are still... We're gonna win this fight. Okay, so they are attacking here. That's not gonna end well. I'm gonna put these into prioritize section. And get them a little bit more strength and... Oh shit. Cut that out. Okay, we won that fight. We get here we can still keep them cut cuts out from the fights. Okay, we we just need to attack now. We don't have option. That's not the one. This one. Ah shit. Yeah, our middle here is uh, failing pretty hard. At least we are getting more troops in the front. You go up there. Start getting the shattered divisions back into Germany. Yeah, we are... <laughs> losing quite a bit of manpower now. I might as well, although that's gonna cost us, actually. Later on. Okay, so let's have an assessment of the situation in the front. We cut out these from supplies, although they might get some supplies from Köln or Cologne. Which reminds me, we now have some spies in Germany. And they, according to our estimation, they actually have smaller, you know, industry than we have. Let's have a look at the majors. Are we now a major power? We are! Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, that's uh, something I... Well, I sort of knew that might happen once we get... 
big enough, but I wasn't ex expecting it quite yet. Okay, I'm gonna redeploy you there, if you can. No, you probably can't because that's taken by the enemy. I'm gonna move you up there. I mean, the reinforcements will be available. Uh, well, available, of course, but able to stop the attack here at least. Hopefully. Okay, is that. I don't know. At least they stopped the attack here, but we need to stop our attack now. Redeploy you there, and you guys will have to withdraw soon enough. Just can't last. We cut these out. I mean, if nothing else, they should be running out of oil there. Maybe not supplies quite yet, but oil or fuel should be running out very quickly. Okay, so that is still... Ah, well then. Let's attack there, and you're gonna support attack them. And hope for the best. Well, yeah, they're attacking here. Uh, I'm gonna withdraw to there. But we can still keep the supply line basically close with this unit. Short barrel, high explosive tanks. Blah 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 blah. We probably don't need the next level for that. And we could probably take the small caliber tank cannon and machine guns. I don't know if we need that right now. Armor... Yeah, maybe. Does it give anything to mechanized infantry? Not really. Also, we should probably get a proper armor division. So let's uh, figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna make... T-34s. Uh, I'm gonna give it... Uh, I don't know, motorized attachment. Mechanized infantry attachment, maybe. And it's gonna need... Okay, how large piercing attack does it have? 34. Yeah, that's probably gonna be enough. Now, if we give them assault guns, that's gonna be... Assault guns actually have higher soft attack. Than artillery, so yeah, let's take that as artillery. And it's gonna. No, it doesn't actually increase the piercing attack. Never mind. The heart attack and soft attack are pretty high now. Then we're gonna give them armored car scouts, armored engineers, half track transports, division headquarters, and I guess. Do we want to give them regular anti air or heavy anti air? And the difference is pretty huge, actually, in terms of uh, I see, but the efficiency, well, piercing attack, heavy. Yeah, that's gonna be actually good. It's gonna take a long time to make, but and it's very expensive. It's gonna be our first actual Panzer division that we can uh, upgrade and all. Okay, so where our divisions are, they are getting here. Uh, we got a few more in here. I'm gonna send all of these. I know that one of them is still regaining strength, but I'm gonna send them here and try to use them to hold this line here at first. Then I'm gonna try to focus my strength taking out these Panzer divisions here, which will free a lot of the land in here. Let's have a look. Are they having any problems in supplies? No, it doesn't look like it. You know what? I'm not, not gonna move that there, but I might want to withdraw you across the river. If you're gonna give uh, the city away, that's fine by me. Okay, you need to rest. Uh, I'm gonna send you forward, and 
you somewhere over there, maybe. I'm gonna try to flank them and get into Czechoslovakia. That is a useless division there. I'm just gonna try it away and then stop the attack. Now we need something up. Let's take these shattered divisions, two of them. I'm gonna bring them into Stettin. I'm gonna use them here as uh, taking some of the land here because they don't have enough troops here for the whole front. Whereas we somewhat do. Not entirely, but somewhat. And they are about to... Well, I'm gonna take Kaun. Uh, attacking us here. I'm gonna withdraw you. At least we got the reinforcements here. They're gonna do a lot once they get their supplies and all. And our roads will be mostly complete in a week or so. Yeah, we're gonna need to withdraw, because we don't really have proper anti-tank guns. If we can lure them in here, we can probably still cut their supplies and surround them and use these five divisions. Yep, five divisions here. And kill that division. Once we get that part of division out, Dual purpose and anti air and anti tank guns advance. That's good. Which means, let's have a look at the heavy anti air piercing attack now. It's uh, huge. Let's just, let's just say that. Okay, we still have strength so we can get in here and cut their supplies once again for a while. Are these two divisions? Uh, this one is half strength, so I'm gonna send you a bit closer. Also, we are going to need to make another army, I think. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna use you to take out these. Uh, empty provinces down here and you will get over there you might be able to push all the way here and take out a few more of the factories maybe if they have any here they might not have because we took this province this had quite a few actually so how much uh, we still have only four spies in Germany I'm gonna put it priority two however have a look. Okay, so the spies estimate that we have pretty much similar size uh, industry, but they of course have a lot more manpower than we do. However, these units can now start working. So I'm gonna send three there and two north and start to getting around them. Okay, we need to withdraw you. Yes, sir. The Air Force is just way too strong for us. I mean, I guess I could get my fighters down here, but they're not... They're not good enough, quite honestly. They might be able to, you know, get a few of them. I guess we'll, we'll have to put everything or nothing mode on. Get our Air Force here and start shooting down their planes if we can. It might not be easy. I mean, uh, their intercepts and range, I don't know. Is that too large? Well, not really. I'm gonna use them both night and day, just to be sure. They intercept day and night range. Something like that. Air combat. Ah, we got them. Because their, yeah, their air force is still a bit stronger than ours. At least we are killing them a little bit. Yeah, trying to 
push out from here and from here. Let's just hope that they don't succeed in it. Okay, you advance there. Take Braha, that's gonna be a Braha, that's gonna be pretty bad for them. The automotive industry over there. Major airbase. Major airbase. Yeah, they didn't get all the way back to the victory points, which is excellent for us. And they are, well, they still have a few in southern Germany. Nuremberg, Stuttgart, and Munich. And there's Salzburg, Graz, Vienne, Innsbruck, Milano, Genoa, and uh, Bologna. And that should be the end of Germans, but yeah, this uh, Western Front needs to be stabilized before we can actually even dream about that. And you still want uh, Lendley support? Nope. I mean, who... which one of here is actually fighting a war? You are just sitting in your <laughs> country doing nothing. Whereas I'm fighting Germany. And yeah, I know that these uh, army corps are not attached to anything right now. Well, I mean, not anything close enough. I could probably attach one of these to, to army group Spike. The other one... Probably not. Unless this guy... Ah, uh, well... Maybe. Once we get the Panzer Grenadier Division, we can reorganize the troops a little bit. Special Forces Combined Arms. Oh, we are ahead of time indeed. We could get nuclear research. Well, might as well. I mean, if nothing else, we can nuke Germany into ruin. Okay, let's start moving over there. And move you over there as well. Do you get in here? Okay, you. I'm gonna give you orders already as well. Okay, so every one of these is uh, heading to the next to this division, and we will take that division out. It's only a matter of time. We will need to send one of these divisions probably all the way to here. Okay, we got that division. That is pretty strong, so we won't be able to defeat that quite yet, I don't think. But with these, I can probably push out the SS Caval. Ooh, they are actually out of supplies or something. And our Air Force is uh, running a bit low on strength. At least we are fighting them. And they are getting some... some losses. But yeah, I'm pretty confident that we can now take care of this uh, Panzer Division. Although we have run out of uh, time for this episode, pretty much. Assault guns advance. Let's have a look at the... It's probably still Stooks, the assault guns that is, but... Ah, that is actually... Well, I don't know, it might still be Stug. But yeah, most of the roads are now complete. And we are actually making the Panzer Division, although it won't be ready until 2028 with this speed. Which is uh, pretty far in the future. But yeah, once we get the Panzer Jager Division, that's gonna help a lot. But in any case, uh, 
as we run out of time for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and come next, come back next time to see if we can actually take out those Panzer Divisions. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.